Hello. In this video, I want to demonstrate some of the improvements that recently have been made to the polygon editing feature of Tiled. Um, in the 1.1 release, I made a few small improvements to the handles, so they are a little bit bigger on uh, on high DPI screens, and they look a bit nicer. And um, you can hold like uh, Alt to to force the the move operation or shift to force a selection operation uh, which helps to to avoid getting into trouble when, when things overlap other things or um, or you are gonna hit another note like if I don't hold out I would drag this but if I do hold out it's gonna always drag my currently selected nodes then uh, last week I added the escape key handling so you can press escape to deselect uh, the nodes you can press escape again to go back to the um, select objects tool and you can double click uh, any polygon or polyline to enter the uh, edit polygons mode so that's a very fast way of editing the polygon and then escape back to the selection um, yeah which before you had to explicitly switch tools here and um, then this week i've made uh, made it possible to interact with the uh, segments of the polygon in addition to the handles so you see when I hover a segment it's highlighting the handles on both ends and of course I can click it to select those two handles and I can uh, drag the segment somewhere uh, instead of always having to drag the handles only. Um, I can also right click a segment to, to join those nodes the, the two ends of, of the segment together um, or I can uh, also double click a segment so double clicking sec double clicking a segment and search a new node um, at the place where I clicked so this is a very convenient feature you can immediately drag that new node to another location if you want to um, and uh, it's a very nice way of extending your your polygon uh, or yeah or your polyline um, yeah, then I improved the hovering a little bit, so you can have now an option, it's disabled by default for now, to show the name for the hovered object. Mm, so all these objects have a name, so you can see which one you will click if you're gonna click. So this one is currently on top of this triangle. Um, I want to improve it a bit further so that you also get hover feedback for objects that don't have a name. So probably just brightening them a little bit if you hover them would be nice that's something for the next update so thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy these improvements